In our previous video, we exposed the truth behind eight myths about what causes burnout, but the misconceptions don't stop there. Now we're tackling seven more misconceptions about dealing with burnout, some of which can be dangerous. By the end of this video, you'll understand what it really takes to break free from the cycles of burnout and reclaim your well-being. So if you're ready to discover the truth and take control of your life, simply keep watching. Myth number nine, burnout can be cured quickly with simple solutions. Whoa, wouldn't that be nice if burnout could be cured with a simple quick fix? Unfortunately, the reality is a bit more complex than that. It's tempting to believe that simple fixes like taking a short break or a few days off can cure burnout. These quick solutions can provide temporary relief, making it seem like they're enough to solve the problem. But the truth is that recovering from burnout often requires a comprehensive approach, including lifestyle changes, professional help, and systematic changes in the work or home environment. It's a serious condition that needs thorough and sustained efforts to address. For example, actress Anne Hathaway has been open about her experience with burnout, emphasizing the need for a multifaceted approach to recovery. She talked about the importance of therapy, lifestyle adjustments, and ongoing support to truly overcome burnout. If you're feeling burnt out, remember that it might take more than just a quick fix to feel better. Be patient with yourself and commit to making longer term changes. This might include adjusting your work habits, seeking professional help, and making lifestyle changes to prioritize self-care. Burnout recovery is a journey, not a quick fix. It requires patience, self-compassion, and a willingness to make lasting changes. But with the right approach and support, it's a journey that can lead to a healthier, more balanced life. However, for many people, the first step on this journey, acknowledging burnout, can be the most challenging. In a world that often glorifies hustle and success at any cost, Admitting to burnout can feel like a sign of weakness or personal failure. This brings us to our next myth, one that can prevent people from seeking the help they need and deserve. Myth number 10, burnout is a sign of weakness. In a world that often glorifies hustle and grind, admitting to burnout can feel like admitting to weakness. But is that really true? Let's bust this myth once and for all. It's easy to see why people might think this. Society often equates needing a break or feeling overwhelmed with weakness or inability to handle pressure. There's a stigma attached to admitting you're struggling, especially in high pressure environments. But the truth is that burnout is a recognized occupational phenomenon. It can affect anyone regardless of their strength or capabilities. It often results from systematic issues rather than personal failings. Recognizing and addressing burnout is actually a sign of strength and self-awareness. Take the example of Sarah, a high school teacher who felt guilty for experiencing burnout. She believed that admitting to burnout meant she was weak and couldn't handle the demands of her job. But once she opened up to a colleague, she realized that burnout was a common experience among teachers and that seeking support was a sign of strength, not weakness. If you're feeling burnt out, remember, it's not about weakness. It's about recognizing your limits and taking care of yourself. Don't be afraid to speak up. Ask for help and make changes to prioritize your well-being. Strength isn't about pushing yourself to the brink. It's about knowing when to step back, recharge, and come back stronger. It takes courage to acknowledge when you're struggling and to seek the support you need. By challenging this myth, we can create a more compassionate and understanding environment for those experiencing burnout. But what about the sources of burnout? Is it only work that can cause this overwhelming exhaustion? Our next myth suggests so, but the reality is far more complex. Myth number 11, only work can cause burnout. When we think about burnout, we often picture overworked professionals or stressed out students. But the truth is, burnout isn't just a work thing. Burnout is commonly associated with work-related stress, making it easy to assume that work is the only source. We often hear about professional burnout more than any other kind. But here's the thing, burnout can also result from non-work-related stressors, such as caregiving, responsibilities, personal relationships, or financial difficulties. These areas of life can be just as demanding and draining as work. Many content creators have spoken about the burnout they experience, not just from their work, but from the pressures of their personal lives. They've shared experiences of feeling burnout due to the combination of personal and professional stress. Remember, burnout isn't just about work. It can come from any area of life that's putting too much pressure on you. If you're feeling burnt out, take a holistic look at your life. Where are you feeling the most strain? What changes can you make to ease that pressure? Burnout is complex, 
and so is recovering from it. But by recognizing the various factors that can contribute, you can start to make changes and find balance. Burnout can stem from many areas of our life, not just our jobs. By recognizing the diverse sources of stress and exhaustion, we can develop a more holistic understanding of burnout and tailor our recovery strategies accordingly. However, when it comes to the effects of burnout, there's another common misconception that can lead people to underestimate its impact. Myth number 12, burnout only affects mental health. When we talk about burnout, we often focus on the mental and emotional toll it takes, but burnout isn't just in your head. It can affect your whole body. Why this may seem true is because burnout is often associated with emotional and psychological symptoms like anxiety, depression, and detachment. These are the most talked about aspects. So it's easy to think burnout only impacts your mental state, but the reality is that burnout impacts both mental and physical health. It can lead to issues like insomnia, a weakened immune system, high blood pressure, and an increased risk of heart disease. It's a comprehensive condition that affects your whole body, not just your mind. For example, Simone Biles, the highly decorated American gymnast, has been open about her experience with burnout and its physical consequences in the past. In 2021, she withdrew from several Olympic events, citing mental health concerns and the physical toll of burnout. She experienced twisties, a phenomenon where a gymnast loses spatial awareness during twists and flips, which can be extremely dangerous. Her story highlights how burnout can manifest in both mental and physical symptoms, affecting even the most elite athletes. If you're experiencing burnout, don't neglect your physical health. Make time for exercise, prioritize sleep, and eat a balanced diet. If you're experiencing physical symptoms, don't hesitate to see a healthcare professional. Burnout is a whole body experience, affecting both our mental and physical health. By recognizing the comprehensive impact of burnout, we can take steps to care for ourselves holistically and promote lasting recovery. But who is susceptible to burnout? Our next myth suggests that only adults can experience this overwhelming exhaustion, but the reality is quite different. Myth 13, burnout only happens to adults. When we picture someone experiencing burnout, we often imagine an overworked adult. But the truth is, burnout doesn't discriminate by age. Why this may seem true is because burnout is often discussed in the context of the workplace, making it easy to think it only affects working adults. We don't usually hear about kids or teens experiencing burnout. But here's the thing. Young people, including students, can also experience burnout due to academic pressures, social dynamics, and extracurricular activities. The stress of balancing school, social life, and future plans can be overwhelming. Many young content creators have spoken out about the pressures they face, which can lead to feelings of burnout. Balancing school, a career, and personal life can be incredibly demanding, even for younger people. If you're a young person feeling burnt out, know that you're not alone and it's not your fault. Reach out to trusted adults, friends, or professionals for support, and people who have been there. And if you're a parent or a teacher, be aware of the signs of burnout young people and be ready to offer support. Remember, burnout doesn't just affect adults. Kids and teens can be experiencing it too. By recognizing this, we can create a more supportive environment for people of all ages. Now that we've debunked the myth that burnout only affects adults, it's crucial to address another common misconception about burnout. Just as burnout doesn't discriminate based on age, it also doesn't follow a one-size-fits-all pattern. In fact, the way burnout manifests can be as diverse as the individuals it affects. This brings us to our last two myths that surprise people the most. You don't want to miss these. Myth 14, burnout is the same for everyone. We often talk about burnout like it's a one-size-fits-all condition, but the truth is, burnout can look different for everyone. Since burnout is often discussed in broad terms, it can seem like everyone experiences it the same way. Common symptoms like exhaustion and detachment are frequently mentioned, making it easy to generalize. But here's the thing, burnout manifests differently in different people. Some might experience more emotional exhaustion, others more cynicism, and still others primarily ineffective. Each person's experience with burnout is unique. Consider the differences between how Dwayne The Rock Johnson has spoken openly about his experiences with burnout. Despite his success and seemingly tireless work ethic, The Rock has emphasized the importance of self-care and setting boundaries to avoid burnout. In an interview with Vanity Fair, he mentioned that his burnout manifested as a feeling of being overwhelmed and disconnected from his work, leading him to take a step back and reassess his priorities. The Rock's experience highlights how burnout can manifest differently for each individual even for those who seem to have it all together. If you think you might be experiencing burnout, don't dismiss your feelings just because they don't match what you heard about burnout. Your experience is valid 
even if it doesn't look like someone else's. And the next time you think about burnout, remember that everyone's experience is different. What works for one person might not work for another. Approach burnout with compassion and an open mind. We've established that burnout can look different for everyone, regardless of their age or life stage. But there's another pervasive myth about burnout that we need to address. Many people believe that burnout is a distinctly modern problem, a product of our fast-paced, technology-driven world. But is that really the case? Well, let's take a closer look at the history of burnout and how it's been affecting people for generations. Myth 15, burnout is a modern phenomenon. In our fast-paced, always-on world, it's easy to think that burnout is a uniquely modern problem. But is it really? Why this may seem true is because the term burnout is relatively modern, and the fast-paced nature of contemporary work life makes it seem like a new issue. With the rise of digital technology and 24-7 connectivity, it's easy to think burnout is a recent problem. But while the term burnout is modern, the phenomena itself has been recognized in various forms throughout history, under different names and contexts. People have always experienced exhaustion and stress from their work and lives. Historical figures like Charles Dickens and Virginia Woolf wrote about feelings that resemble what we now call burnout. Their experiences show that this issue has been around much longer than the term itself. So recognizing that burnout isn't new can be comforting. It means that people have been dealing with and recovering from these feelings for a long time. We can learn from the strategies they use and adopt them for our modern context. So remember, burnout isn't just a product to our modern world. It's been around for ages, even if they didn't call it by that name. And that means we have a wealth of knowledge and experience to draw from to avoid and prevent burnout. Throughout this video and the one before it, we've taken a journey through the myths and realities of burnout. We've seen how this condition has affected people across time and how it continues to impact individuals from all walks of life today. But we've also learned that we don't have to be held back by these misconceptions any longer. By recognizing the truth about burnout, that it can affect anyone, that it manifests differently for each person, and that it's not a sign of weakness, we can start to break free from the stigma and silence that often surrounds this issue. So where do we go from here? As someone who has personally experienced burnout, I know how challenging it can be to navigate this journey alone. That's why I encourage you to share this video with someone you know who has said, I am so stressed out. It could be a friend, family member, or a colleague, anyone who might be on the verge of burning out and in need of support. If you found this video helpful, please take a moment to leave a comment below sharing your own experiences with burnout or any insights you've gained. Your story can make a real difference in someone else's life. But before you go, I've got something special for you. See that video on your screen right now? It's packed with practical, actionable strategies to help you overcome burnout starting today. Remember, understanding burnout is just the first step. Taking action is where the real change happens. So don't wait, watch that video because you matter and avoiding burnout is preventable. Thanks for watching. I'll see you online soon.